Hello everyone, this is video tutorial series presented by Elisa from Walchand College of Engineering, Sangli. I am Elisa Srihari Vaskar and in this tutorial we will discuss about the carry look ahead adder. This will be the agenda of our discussion. With some background of ripple carry adder, we will see what are the disadvantages of ripple carry adder, what are the circuit delays and then we will discuss about the carry look ahead adder which is our main topic for the discussion. We will derive the logic expression for carry of 4 bit adder in carry look ahead adder. Then we will try to understand the difference between carry look ahead adder and ripple carry adder. There are some ICs available for 4 bit carry look ahead addition. This is a typical ripple carry adder. You are watching this tutorial then you must be having knowledge of ripple carry adder. If not, you can easily find a tutorial on our channel regarding ripple carry adder. In ripple carry adder, starting from A0 to A3 and from B0 to B3 and C0 are the input bits. Starting from S0 to S3, they are some generated bits and the final carry of 4 bit addition is C4 which depends upon the carries produced by the previous stages that is C1, C2 and C3. Do you wonder why this name ripple carry adder is given to it? Because the ripple carry ripples through the stages, through the previous stages to produce the final carry. Do you think that as soon as you will apply the inputs, immediately the output will be produced? If you think so, you must get familiar with circuit delay. It is a very important concept regarding the speed of digital system. There are various circuit delays like propagation delay, fan out, and net delay etc. But the major delay in adder circuitry is propagation delay. Then the question arises, what is a propagation delay? The time difference between change in input signal and corresponding change in output signal is called propagation delay. Though we can measure the overall delay with timing simulation. There are various software available for timing simulation. If you apply the input to a logic gate, then output will, output will be available after a time interval equal to propagation delay. You can see how the carry ripples in ripple carry adder. In this circuit, the C1 will be available only after the uh, C1 is calculated from A0, B0 and C0. Then C2 will be available only after the C1 is available. Then C3 will be produced only after the C2 is produced. Such that in such a way the carry, the carry is generated passing from the gate to gate. It depends upon the carry generated in the previous stage. And till the propagation delay you will not get the correct answer. Don't you want your circuitry to be faster? Then what is the solution for it? One solution is to employ faster gates with reduced delays so that we can reduce the overall propagation delay. But is this solution feasible all the way? No, it's not because there will be a limit for every physical logic gate. It will be definitely have a certain minimum delay. Also, the reduced delay gates will be costlier. So, is there another way? The another way is having a principle of look ahead carry addition by eliminating interstage carry logic. In simple words, it eliminates the dependency of previous stage carry for calculating the carry of current stage. The carry look ahead adder solves this problem by calculating the carry signals in advance based on the input signal. Let's see how the CLA is designed. Ask yourself a question. When a carry signal will be generated? 
there are two cases the first case is when the both inputs that is ai and bi are one and another case is when one of the two bits that is ai or bi is one and the carry generated in previous stage that is ci is one thus one can write the equation for carry generated in ith stage as ci plus 1 that is the carry generated in current stage equal to ai dot bi plus ai x or bi and ci the first case is satisfied by the term ai dot bi that is it will produce output 1 only when the both inputs ai and bi are one the second case is satisfied satisfied by the term ai x or bi and ci it will produce output 1 only with one of the two bits ai or bi is one and the carry in that is the carry of previous stage ci is one let's generalize this equation for four bit adder we will call the term ai x or bi as propagate term and denote it with symbol pi we will denote the term ai dot bi with the symbol gi and we will call it as generate term also we will give a symbol si for the term ai x or bi x or ci it can be expressed as pi xor ci and we will call it as sum signal note that the propagate and generate carry terms also the sum signal only depends on the input bits of their respective stages the subscript i denotes that the inputs are of their respective stages and thus it will be valid only after one gate delay it does not need to wait for carry to ripple through all the previous stages to find its proper value from the generalized equation the carry of lowest significant bit that is of the first stage can be calculated as c1 equal to g0 that is carry generate term plus p0 and c0 the carry generated in the second stage can be calculated as c2 equal to g1 plus p1 dot c1 and we have calculated in previous equation that c1 equal to g0 plus p0 dot c0 putting this c1 in the second equation of c2 will get c2 equal to g1 plus p1 dot g0 plus p1 dot p0 dot c0 similarly we can calculate for c3 and for c4 now note that the carry signal of each stage that is c1 c2 c3 and c4 is expressed as a direct sum of product function of c0 rather than its preceding carry signal remember that pi is nothing but ai x or bi and gi is nothing but ai and bi that is ai dot bi and c0 is also our input bit so all the carry generated in each stage are dependent upon the inputs of the respective stage uh, this is the logic for designing our carry look ahead adder lo logic we will have some hardware to ripple carry adder to transform into carry look ahead adder let's have a look at block diagram of carry look ahead adder this can be broken in two modules the first module is 
the group of upper four one bit full headers that is the group of these four one bit full headers they they are mean to produce the gi pi and si terms and the another module is the carry look ahead header the carry look ahead logic which is supposed to produce the output of each stage that is c1 c2 c3 and the overall carry of four bit addition c4 but uh, do you want to know what is inside the carry look ahead logic so this is nothing but the logic design we have designed previously from the those equations let's understand how exactly the carry look ahead adder reduces the propagation delay time rather than the ripple carry adder in ripple carry adder the uh, carry of the first stage is produced uh, when a0 b0 and c0 are available then c2 is available only when the c1 is available and to make c1 available a0 b0 and c0 must be available then to calculate c3 the c2 must be available c1 must be available and for the c4 all the means to calculate the overall carry of four bit addition the carry of the previous stages must be available so this this is the something that causes uh, the large propagation delay in ripple carry adder but in case of carry look ahead adder the carry generation depends upon the inputs at the each stages that doesn't depend on the carry generated in previous stages so that's why the carry generation uh, requires less time it is less propagation time in carry look ahead adder rather than ripple carry adder but though carry look ahead adder is faster much there are some disadvantages too the carry logic is getting quite complicated for more than 4 bits it can get very slow when one needs to add many bits and also the carry look ahead adders advantages comes only when you are using it for more than or equal to 2 bit addition in 1 bit addition carry look ahead adder the ripple carry adder is better than carry look ahead adder the more software in carry look ahead adder also means slower hardware because it uses up a lot of space in the market the ics are available for 4 bit carry look ahead adder adi, carry look ahead addition that ic name is ic 74182 hope you have understood all the things thanks for watching for any suggestions mail us at walchand.elisa@gmail.com or like us on www.facebook.com/wcselisa thank you